I started Tiny Me in 2003 when I was living in Vermont. And at the time, I had a sucky side corporate job. And I, you know, I had training in design about 10 years prior. And one day I was just like, hey, I'm going to try to make something. And at the time, God, it was so long ago, I can't even remember now, but uh, I just started playing around with different materials and came up with the idea for, uh, for these wristbands that uh, have funny sayings on them. And that's kind of where it started from. Uh, I think it was a it was it was a matter of you know like hey this is pretty fun to sew on vinyl and, and paint swatches and paper and stuff and what else can I make? Sewed together a couple prototype wallets and took them to the farmers market where I lived in Vermont and nobody really knew what to make out of it and they thought it was pretty funny you know that and the name and tiny meat. This is my, my second time for Maker Fair. I, 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 I took a year off, um, retooling some things, focusing on business and my personal life, and, uh, and now I'm heading back down. It was great, you know, it's not, uh, you know, leading up to a big show, and, and you know, you talk to a lot of people, they'll say the same thing. You, you can never prepare enough. You know, you wonder, are you going to have enough stuff? Are you going to sell out of your stuff? Are people, is no one going to buy your things? You know, what do people want? And, and then what I've learned over the past seven years is, is to not really sweat it because it, it never, the, the show never meets your expectations. You know, if you're overly nervous about it, you get there and then it's fine. You know, or, or if you're, you know, not overly prepared, it's still okay. You know, I think the, the handmade community also is a pretty tight knit group very neighborly like and if you need something or you didn't bring something you can usually find it from from somebody there so for me it's just a matter of making sure that I have a fair representation of the whole line what's inspiring about it is not seeing other handmade people making things other crafters but getting out and seeing like all the crazy weird contraptions of things that you didn't even know existed and uh, like last time I was at Maker Faire, there was a guy who like invented a new kind of camper and he had this like whole camper out there and it was like an older engineer guy and you could, you could tell that he had spent like 20 years of his life trying to take this thing to market and it's, you know, it's that kind of tenacity of some of these makers that don't do it for any other reason than the love of creating and making things. And I think that is like the true spirit of this festival. It isn't about like selling fish. I mean, you know, people like to sell things there and make money. But it's just, you know, a showcase for a lot, for these people, a lot of them who make these things in their garage or in their backyard and, you know, they never see the light of day. And then they bring them to this, you know, which is this, this event, which is basically like a, a giant grown-up science fair. And there's some really just outrageously cool stuff. And I think that's the part I get excited about. You're seeing all the cool stuff. I'm Michael from Tiny Meat, and I just want to get in your pants. Like that? <laughs>